Welcome to Culture Alley Spanish. Hola, this is Español Lesson 26. Let's start by going over some of the phrases that we learned in the last lesson again. Do you remember that nouns that end in O are usually masculine, while nouns that end in A are usually feminine? For example, boy translates to el chico. Looking at the feminine form, girl is translated as la chica. Let's take another example. Grandfather becomes el abuelo. And grandmother will be la abuela. Notice how masculine forms are ending in O and feminine in A. Good. Now let's revise the other forms of masculine and feminine nouns. Some masculine nouns end in a consonant. Such masculine nouns that end in a consonant often have a corresponding feminine form that ends in A. For example, the German man translates to el alemán. Hence, the German woman becomes la alemana. Similarly, the male joker will be el burlón. And the female joker becomes la burlona. Note that with feminine forms, the accent mark is omitted. Great! Also note how the articles change their forms with masculine and feminine forms. Masculine nouns go with masculine articles. Un, el, los. And feminine nouns go with feminine articles. Una, la, and las. Let's take some examples. Male friend translates to el amigo while female friend becomes la amiga. The male doctor will be el doctor, whereas the female doctor becomes la doctora. Similarly, male student is translated as el estudiante, while female student is la estudiante. Great! Moving on, Nouns that end in sion, thion, dad, tad, dud, umbre are feminine. Here are some examples. The television translates to la televisión. Please say it with me. La televisión. Good. The inspiration will be la inspiración. The city becomes la ciudad. One more time. La ciudad. The liberty is la libertad. The magnitude is translated as la magnitud. The custom becomes la costumbre. All of these nouns are feminine. Now let's revise plural forms of nouns. In the singular form, the book translates to el libro. In plural form, the books becomes los libros. The pen becomes la pluma, while the pens will be las plumas. The boy is el chico. Its plural form, the boys, becomes Los chicos. The girl is la chica, while the girls is translated as las chicas. In all of these forms, we just added an S at the end to convert them to plural forms. Note that all of these examples ended in O or A. Hence, if a noun ends in a vowel, namely O or A, then just add an S to convert it to its plural form. Great! Let's look at plural forms of nouns that end in O or A. If a noun ends in a consonant, then make it plural by adding ES. Example, in the singular form, the university translates to la universidad. And in the plural form, the universities translates to las universidades. If a noun ends in ion, Add ES and drop the written accent. 
as we saw, the television becomes la televisión and ends in ion. Its plural form, the televisions, will become las televisiones. We added es and dropped the accent mark. If a noun ends in z, add es and change the z to c. For example, the light is la luz. Hence, the lights will be las luces. The Z gets replaced by C, and ES is added at the end. Awesome! Let's move on to today's lesson, which is about describing people. In today's lesson, we will learn how to describe other people, talk about their qualities, appearance, and more. We often use adjectives like intelligent, beautiful, etc. to describe someone. The first half of our lesson will look at some of these adjectives and their usage. In grammar, an adjective is a describing word. It describes a noun or a noun phrase and gives more information about it. For example, an adjective might describe the color of an object. The red rose, the brown house. Adjectives in Spanish have gender. A masculine adjective must be used with a masculine noun. A feminine adjective with a feminine noun. This is called noun-adjective agreement. Some adjectives change in form with gender, while others don't. Let's take some examples. Let's first look at adjectives ending in O or A. Let's take the example, a tall boy. Here, tall is an adjective which describes the noun, boy. Tall translates to alto. One more time. Alto. Great! Let's now look at the word-by-word -word translation of the tall boy. The translates to el. Tall becomes alto. And boy will be Chico. The tall boy translates to el chico alto. Note that while in the tall boy, the adjective tall comes before the noun boy, in its Spanish version, alto comes after the noun chico. Hence, the tall boy literally translates as the boy tall or el chico alto. In Spanish, the default location for descriptive adjectives is after the noun they refer to. Hence, the tall boy literally becomes the boy tall, or el chico alto. Great! Moving on, let's look at the breakup of the tall girl. The translates to la. Tall is alta. And girl will be chica. Note how tall becomes alta with feminine noun chica. Both end in A. Thus, the tall girl becomes la chica alta. Literally, the girl tall. Very good. Generally, a masculine adjective that ends in O becomes feminine by changing the ending to A. For example, alto and alta. Notice that the article el or la will also change form depending on the gender. The tall boy translates to el chico alto. Both adjective and noun end in o, and the article used is el. And the tall girl will be la chica alta. Both adjective and noun end in a, and the article used is la. Another grammar tip here is that adjectives that are descriptive usually follow the noun they describe. We will learn more about this rule and its exceptions later in the lesson. The tall boy translates to el chico alto. Alto, which means tall, comes after chico. The tall girl becomes la chica alta. Alta, which means tall, comes after chica. Small books is los libros pequeños, where libros is books and pequeños is small. 
red feathers will be las plumas rojas, where plumas means feathers and rojas means red. Note that pluma is used for both feather and pen. Great! All right, it's quiz time. Let's see if you remember what we learned till now. What does the rich boy translate to? A hint here is that rich is rico or rica. So, is it el chico rico or el chica rico or is it la chico rico? The correct answer is el chico rico. Very good. What will be the translation for the rich girl? Will it be la chico rica or la chica rica or is it el chico rica? The rich girl translates to la chica rica. Great! Moving on. Adjectives also change form depending upon whether the word they modify is singular or plural. Notice the difference between the tall boy and the tall boys, the tall girl and the tall girls. The tall boy translates to el chico alto. The tall boys becomes los chicos altos. The tall girl is translated as la chica alta. The tall girls will be las chicas altas. Did you notice? If adjectives are used for singular words, they take up singular form. If adjectives are used for plural words, they take up plural form. For adjectives ending in O and A, an additional S is added to form the plural form. Great! Many common adjectives end in O. These adjectives have four forms. The following words all mean tall. With masculine singular, the adjective is alto. With masculine plural, it will be altos. With feminine singular, it is alta. With feminine plural, it becomes altas. Let's look at a few more examples. Slow translates to lento. With masculine singular, it becomes lento. With masculine plural, it will be lentos. With feminine singular, it is lenta. And with feminine plural, it translates to lentas. Red translates to rojo. Red book translates to libro rojo. That is the singular masculine form. Red books will be libros rojos, the plural masculine form. Red pen becomes pluma roja. Singular feminine form as pluma is feminine. Hence, red pens translates to plumas rojas the plural feminine form. Notice how the endings of the nouns and these adjectives are similar. Let's now look at adjectives that don't end in O or A. Adjectives that end in E do not change form for masculine or feminine nouns. They stay the same for both genders. Singular feminine for the smart girl will be la chica Inteligente. Singular masculine for the smart boy becomes el chico inteligente. In both masculine and feminine form, we use the same form of the adjective inteligente. However, the definite article changed its form. We used el with masculine and la with feminine. Great! As we saw, adjectives that end in E don't change form depending on the gender. Adjectives that end in E, however, change form for singular or plural. 
To form the plural, simply add an S. The smart girl translates to la chica inteligente. The smart girls becomes las chicas inteligentes. Let's take more examples. Strong translates to fuerte. With masculine singular, the strong boy translates to el chico fuerte. With masculine plural, the strong boys becomes los chicos fuertes. An S is added. With feminine singular, the strong girl will be la chica fuerte. With feminine plural, the strong girls is translated as las chicas fuertes. Great! Let's try to translate she is beautiful, where beautiful is hermoso or hermosa. She is beautiful translates to ella es hermosa. For females, beautiful will be hermosa. All right, it's quiz time once again. What will be the translation for the smart boys? Will it be el chico inteligente? Or will it be las chicas inteligentes? Or is it los chicos inteligentes? The smart boys translates to los chicos inteligentes. Good. She is very strong translates to ella es muy fuerte or ella es muy fuertes or ella es muy fuerta. The correct answer is ella es muy fuerte. Moving on, most adjectives that end in a consonant also do not change for masculine or feminine, but change form for singular or plural. But to form the plural, add ES. For example, the popular girl will be la chica popular. The popular boy becomes el chico popular. In both cases, popular stays as popular. Now let's look at the plural forms. The popular girl translates to la chica popular. While its plural feminine form, the popular girls becomes las chicas populares. The popular boy will be el chico popular. Singular masculine form. While plural masculine form, the popular boys is... Los chicos populares. Hence, to form the plural for adjectives ending in consonants, add ES. A few more quizzes. What will the popular professor, female, translate to? Will it be el profesora popular? Or la profesora popular? Or la profesora populara? Think, think. The correct answer is la profesora popular. Did you get that right? Adjective noun order. Now that we know how adjectives change form, let us also look at their placement in a sentence. We earlier saw that descriptive adjectives usually follow the noun they describe. Let us look at this rule and its exceptions. As we saw, adjectives that are descriptive usually follow the noun they describe. The tall boy translates to el chico alto. The tall girl becomes la chica alta. Small books will be los libros pequeños. Red feathers is las plumas rojas. However, Adjectives of quantity almost always come before the noun. Such adjectives tell how much or how many. Few pens will be pocas plumas, where few is pocas and will come before the noun plumas. Much energy becomes mucha energía, where much is mucha, 
few houses is pocas casas. Where few is pocas. Did you notice all adjectives are coming before the noun? Unlike descriptive adjectives which come after the noun. Sometimes, even a descriptive adjective can precede the noun. If the adjective is descriptive, but speaks of a quality that is inherent and usually taken for granted, the adjective comes before the noun. The white snow translates to la blanca nieve. Now snow is inherently white, hence blanca or white comes before nieve or snow. Similarly, let's look at the tall peaks. Again, peaks are inherently tall. Hence, the tall peaks will be los altos picos, where altos comes before picos. Great! Let's go through a few more quizzes. What will much work translate to? Will it be muchos trabajo? Or mucha trabajo? Or mucho trabajo? Your time is ticking. Much work translates to mucho trabajo. Both ending in O and mucho coming before trabajo, as it is an adjective of quantity. Very good. We very often use nationalities while describing people. Let us learn about adjectives of nationality. Adjectives of nationality that end in O follow the same rules as other adjectives ending in O. That is, they have four forms. Singular masculine for the Mexican boy will be el chico mexicano. Plural masculine for the Mexican boys is los chicos mexicanos. Singular feminine for the Mexican girl becomes la chica mexicana. Plural feminine for the Mexican girls is las chicas mexicanas. Adjectives of nationality that end in a consonant do not follow the same rules as other adjectives ending in a consonant. Normally, adjectives ending in a consonant have the same masculine and feminine form. Adjectives of nationalities ending in a consonant have a rather distinct feminine form ending in A. The Spanish boy will be el chico español, while the Spanish girl is la chica española. Adjectives of nationality that end in a consonant take a plural form with an addition of es for masculine gender and as for feminine. The Spanish boy will be el chico español, while the Spanish boys translates to los chicos españoles. The Spanish girl becomes la chica española, while the Spanish girls translates to las chicas españolas. Great! Let's look at a few examples. I am Chilean translates to soy chileno for males and soy chilena for females. Awesome! Let's take more examples and use nationalities to describe people. He is French becomes El es francés. Can you try that, please? El es francés. She is French will be Ella es francesa. Let's say it one more time. Ella es francesa. Note, the accent on E has been dropped in feminine form. The German boy translates to El chico alemán. Try that one. El chico alemán. The German girl becomes La chica alemana. Once more. La chica alemana. Very good. Note, the accent on E has been dropped in feminine form. The American man is translated as el hombre americano, where man is hombre and American man becomes hombre americano. 
the American woman becomes la mujer americana, where woman is mujer, one more time, mujer, and American woman becomes mujer americana. Note that we never capitalize nationalities in Spanish. Now let's see the plural forms. The American men will be los hombres americanos. The American women translates to las mujeres americanas. Note the change in articles. El changes to los. And la changes to las with plural forms. Great! Once again, it's quiz time. What will I am German be? Assume male form. Will it be soy aleman? Or soy aleman? Or soy alemana? Think hard. The correct answer is soy aleman. Note for male form, Aleman has an accent. Great! All right, now we will use adjectives to describe people. Let us look at some common adjectives. Short translates to corto or corta. Can you say that? Corto or corta. Thin becomes delgado. Or delgada. Ugly is feo or fea. Cold translates to frío or fría. Big is translated as grande. Try saying that. Grande. A few more. Honest translates to honesto or honesta. Poor will be pobre. Responsible is translated as responsable. One more time. Responsable. Awesome. Delicious is sabroso or sabrosa. Young becomes joven. One more time. Joven. Old will be viejo or vieja. Let's use these adjectives in some examples. The ugly cat, assuming a male cat, translates to el gato feo. The cold food becomes la comida fría, where food is comida. The thin girl is la chica delgada. Remember, thin becomes delgada as girl is feminine. The honest man translates to el hombre honesto, where man is hombre, hence honest becomes honesto, ending in O for masculine noun. The big dog becomes el perro grande. Note grande will not change for male or female dog. The young boy is el chico joven. And finally, the delicious cake translates to el delicioso pastel, where cake is pastel. Great! Now let's use some of these to describe people. Look at the image on the right. Let's try to describe her. She is Cecilia. She is Spanish. She is responsible and intelligent. She is short. Now let's describe Cecilia in Spanish. She is Cecilia. She is Spanish becomes Ella es Cecilia. Ella es Española. Note that we use Española as Cecilia is a female. She is responsible and intelligent becomes Ella es responsable e Inteligente. Note that whenever a word after starts with an E sound, we translate it into E and not Y, as you don't want to have two E sounds right one after the other. Hence, we say responsable 
e inteligente, and not responsable e inteligente. Great! Describe the next people. The Argentinian man, the old and intelligent man, the tall man. Remember, old is viejo or vieja. The Argentinian man is translated as el hombre argentino. The old and intelligent man becomes el viejo e inteligente. Again, we use e and not y as inteligente starts with an e sound. Finally, the tall man is el hombre alto. Can you try translating she is American? She is young and thin. She is honest. The solution would be, she is American becomes ella es americana. She is young and thin translates to ella es joven y delgada. And finally, she is honest will be ella es honesta. Awesome! All right, it's now time for our culture leap of the day. A lot of times while typing online over a chat or a social network like Facebook, Spanish-speaking people use what may seem to sound like ja 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 and je je je. This is the same as ha 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 and je je je, used more commonly in English. Since the sound of j is like a strong h in Spanish, while writing, the H gets replaced by a J. In the next lesson, we will learn about demonstrative adjectives like this, that, these, and those. We hope you enjoyed your lesson today. See you at the alley for the next one.